In 10 hours at sea, the Manama is finally docking at King Faisal Naval Base in Jeddah. The ship carrying around 2,000 people from Port Sudan, fleeing the fighting. This is one of the largest evacuation operations since Sudan's crisis began. The disabled and elderly are among the first to leave the ship. Many bear the scars of the war, but they are warmly welcomed. Anything we need, you are most welcome. Welcome home. Okay, sir. Because I cannot. Oh, yeah. I am 72. I am from Pakistan, but we are living in Sudan since last 10 years. Because of this war, we come here. But uh, I am very grateful for the Saudi government who provide us very nice handling, who pro supervise the evocation of the uh, standard people in Sudan. We are very much in problem. Believe me, my house was bombed. My wife is damaged. By, and she is uh, getting some injury. Saudi officials say they have evacuated over 6,000 people from Port Sudan. It is one of the safest places in the country, at least for the time being. But getting there is not easy. We are from South Khartoum. It had been a long and difficult journey to get to Port Sudan. The humanitarian situation at home is dire and people desperately need help. The war is making things worse. On this side of the Red Sea, in Jeddah, efforts are on the way to welcome and shelter the evacuees. But on the other side of the sea, the paramilitary rapid support forces and Sudan's army, which were supposed to protect Sudanese people, are still fighting each other. And thousands of civilians caught in the crossfire are desperate to leave. More than 30 nationalities who were on the ship are being transported to the hotels in Jeddah. Saudi officials say they have granted them a one-month residence visa. Those who have a secure country to go to will then leave. But for the Sudanese who have made it here, the future remains uncertain. Rasul Serdar, Al Jazeera, King Faisal Naval Base in Jeddah.